Hi everyone, Meta Anime here. Hope you are doing well. Today, I'm going to tell the story of a film called Patema Inverted, or Sakasama no Patema. This film was released in 2013 and was written and directed by Yasuhiro Yoshiura, who is well known for the short animated movie Pale Cocoon. Before we go, this video contains spoilers. So please take this warning for those that haven't watched this movie yet. So, here's the recap of Patema Inverted. The movie starts with humankind performing an experiment about gravitational energy, but failed and created an anomaly that reverses the gravity around, making all things both living and non-living fall to the sky. We are then shown the protagonist of this story, Patema. Patema is a girl living in the underworld. She is a very curious girl and very much wants to know about the outside world. This desire of her is very much driven and inspired by her friend, named Lagos who went to the outside world. Despite her high curiosity to try and find the outside world, she is forbidden to do so by her grandfather and her friend Porta. Desperate to meet Lagos again at the outside world, Patema still keeps trying to go to the outside world. One night, Patema went to a place that seems to be a place that connects the underworld and the outside world. There, Patema was attacked by a bat humanoid which actually is a human from the outside world. Even though she escaped the attack, she fell from the bridge after she sat from being tired. But weirdly, she woke up at a side of a cliff in a world where everything is inverted to her. There, she met a boy named Eiji. At first, Eiji was confused with Patema's condition. But seeing Patema about to fall to the sky, Eiji tries to save her and while doing so, Eiji was taken upwards by Patema and experienced the feeling of flying. Eiji then helped Patema hide after saving her. And in time, Patema and Eiji got along with each other and they each told stories about their world. Apparently, the people from Eiji's world see people like Patema as sinners, that should be devoured by the sky. Eiji then told Patema about his scientist father, that made an invention that can fly to the sky, but died due to the so-called divine punishment. Unfortunately, the people from Eiji's world started to notice Patema and tried to capture her. They tried to escape, but failed, and Patema was caught at the end. Eiji was then being scolded by his teachers, but he tried to rebel and fight for Patema. But suddenly soldiers started coming in with the leader from Eiji's world called, Izamura. Izamura then told Eiji to forget about Patema, and said that she is not a human. He also told Eiji that he doesn't want to have both father and son to have died, because of an accident. This meant that Eiji's father's death which was thought to be an accident was actually caused by Izamura. Patema was then seen locked inside a room. There, she met Izamura. He then told Patema about the history of this world. Long ago, an experiment was held in these lands using the energy of gravity. But the laws of the world did not allow it, and the gravity of living things got reversed, which made them start flying towards the sky. And in order to stop that from happening again, their ancestors made this world called Iga. It is a world with a single goal to live in peace with law and order. But some survivors, that survived the accident and became the inverted people went to live underground. This made the leader very mad, because he worried that the purity of the people of Iga will be tainted by the inverted people. He then showed Patema the first inverted person that showed up in Iga, and made him realize their existence. Patema was then shown a horrifying scene of Lagos' dead body being held inside a glass filled with water. At first, Eiji was feeling very hopeless about Patema and just let her be. Eiji then went to the first place he met Patema. There, he met Porta, Patema's friend from the underworld. At first, Porta was suspicious of Eiji. But after knowing that Patema was caught, he took Eiji to the underworld to make a plan to rescue Patema. They managed to infiltrate the tower where Patema was being held by working together. But after they found Patema, they were found out and were surrounded by the guards. Fortunately, they managed to escape through the ceiling by using Patema's inverted gravity. While holding each other, Patema and Eiji kept falling to the sky and thinking that they will go to the stars in the sky. But after a while, they found out that those stars are actually light coming out from a huge machine. They then arrived at the bottom of the machine. They then explore around the place while holding each other to keep Eiji from falling. There, they found the machine that Eiji's father invented to go to the sky. Inside the machine, they found a notebook that belonged to Eiji's father. Patema and Eiji found out about Eiji's father's experiment together with Lagos. It was then seen that Eiji's father and Lagos had the same dream which is to go to the sky. For that, they designed a vehicle that can take them both to the sky together. And finally, after a while, they finally finished the vehicle. 
But unfortunately, during the test flight, Iga's soldiers came to Eiji's house to capture Lagos, and shot Eiji's father while he was in the vehicle. After the huge machine activates, which indicates that the morning has come, Patema and Eiji drop the weights from Eiji's father's vehicle and went down together. By the time they got to the surface, they are already being weighted by Izamura. Their appearance made people of Iga look at them in confusion, due to seeing a vehicle floating through the sky. Patema and Eiji then decided to jump off, after seeing the soldiers coming out with weapons ready to attack them. When they are falling down, the soldiers were chasing them using cars and Izamura ordered his soldier to shoot them. The both of them got shot by the net and that made them fall into the underworld. While the people of the underworld were grieving due to thinking that Patema is already dead, Patema suddenly showed up from under them and made them really happy. But suddenly Izamura showed up with his soldiers disrupting their reunion and making Patema and Eiji fall to the end of the hole. After being betrayed by one of his soldiers that tried to help the underworld people, Porta rushed to Izamura and also fell to the end of the hole and met Patema Eiji. Upon seeing them, Izamura pointed his gun at them and shot Eiji's foot making him almost let Patema go. Seeing Patema almost fall, Porta jumped to Izamura to disarm him. While Porta succeeded to take Izamura's gun, he fell upward right after that. Izamura then took out a knife to kill the two of them. But suddenly the ground that Izamura stands on cracked and opened up a new gate. After the new gate opened up, Izamura was shocked to see the real world right under him. So, all this time Izamura and the people of Aiga are the actual inverted people from the experiments long ago. Suddenly, Eiji's father's vehicle also fell upward, and hit Izamura launching him to the actual sky, and making the unconscious Patema fall back into the hole. But, Eiji jumped to catch the falling Patema, and was saved by Izamura's soldier that betrayed him. It was then clear to them that, the inverted survivors from the experiment that threw away living on the surface and hid underground were actually the Aiga people, and that the researchers' survivors were actually Patema and the people from the underworld. The movie ended with Patema and Eiji holding each other seeing the view of the real world. So that concludes the recap of Patema Inverted. What do you guys think? I think that this is a movie that is really beautiful and very fun to watch. It has a creative plot that delivers something different, but not too complex like Christopher Nolan's movies. Even though it can get a little confusing, and certain areas can fall flat at times, the mind-blowing ending, and classic romance story really took this movie to another level. The idea of the inverted people, also showed the concept of people who live very differently from others, and how things can get very different from one's point of view to another, like how Izamura thought of them as the original non-inverted people. Please tell us what you think through the comment section. If you like this content, please leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching, until we see you again.